up guys, Richie here from RW Hobbies. Welcome back to my latest installment of new kit releases as of October the 18th, 2022. Thank you for all the great feedback on my last video. And please remember if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and you get all the latest updates. Um, not only new kit releases, but all my other content such as build videos and reviews and all the other modeling related content. Now, this kind of goes without saying, but I can't cover every single new release on these updates. I want to keep it to about 15, 20 minutes and about 20 slides. So. A lot of people, you know, asking about certain genres and um, scales and stuff. I, I can only do so many, right? So I'm going to pick more of the, the prominent ones or the interesting ones I see every every month, and I'll put those on these slides. If you have any you want to suggest, which I missed, please join my Facebook group. The group is, um, the link is below, and you can post there or post any of your work as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first one is Tamiya 48 scale F35A Lightning 2. Now, timing on this one, man. So I released... Um, my slide deck here, I think about three weeks ago and um, on a Tuesday morning. And I think the Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday or, or the Tuesday evening was when Tammy made the bombshell announcement. So I think I was literally within 24 hours of missing this one in the last video. But at least we have some interesting photographs to share as well now. So not just a box art. So F35A 48 scale, it looks it's Tammy, so it's going to be awesome. That You see that weapon bay and the pilots there and the seats, really well detailed. Um, well, actually, be one pilot, obviously. I think we look in the back view and the front view. Um, yeah, the only thing is it's an F35, and once again, the manufacturer overdoes the RAM. So the RAM, which is the ra radar absorbent material, the tape, it's literally tape goes over the panel lines. So it's on the modern ones, you know, talking about millimeters thick, it's not like inches thick. Whereas you know, every manufacturer brings out an F35 or an F22 just really overdoes that. Um, it really, it's just, you know, it's way too done. So, yeah, I mean, you can sand it down, I guess, or just leave it as is. But nevertheless, you know, it's another 48 scale kit from Tamiya and it's going to be awesome as all the rest of them are. And this one should be out pretty soon too. So December release. So yeah, just a few weeks away and you should be able to get this in time for Christmas. All right. So we featured this last time around, um, but now we actually have some shots, some some pictures of the actual model we can share. So this is Tap Tacum's, um, the D and the E Apache 35th scale. Now up here in the top left, you can see the, the, the actual cockpit detail looks pretty awesome. So these two are the actual kit. This is obviously the real picture. And the same thing, these these gray pictures are the actual model um, made up. And then these are the real images. Tons of tons of rivets all over, raised and recessed by looks of things. Um, and just, yeah, it looks absolutely awesome, well detailed. And Bernie, being 50, 35th scale, it's going to be a pretty nice size. So you can definitely add some you know scratch building and, and further stuff to it, or maybe a dio if that's what you wanted to do. All right, so this one caught me by surprise, um, but we need one. So an F14B um, from Great War Hobbies, 48 scale. So we have plenty of A's, A pluses, and, and D's, and now we've got a B um, from Great War Hobbies. Now, I've built the 72nd scale ones, and they're absolutely beautiful kits. And um, I built 48 scale Great War Hobbies kits as well. They're all great. So I think this would be a, a really nice addition to your stash. Um, be due out next year. It was just announced at the local, the, um, the, the recent Japanese uh, model show. But F14B, and you can see the markings there, um, four different markings. Also, another surprise one, Great Wall Hobbies are doing an A10. So this is going to be an A, I believe. Um, it doesn't say, but I think it's an A. And um, unfortunately, I think most people are looking for a C. So hopefully a C will be along shortly afterwards, but an A, and it's going to be 48 scale, which we got quite a few of these A10s coming up recently. But what, Academy have brought a new one out, Hobby Boss. And now we've got um, Great Wall Hobbies. So not too much information on that yet. You just see that basically the, the promo kind of um, display right there with the images. But it'll be awesome. Again, Great Wall Hobbies would be a great kit. Um, and one thing to note with Great Wall Hobbies, I mentioned this on some other videos as well. If you're in Europe or North America, they're pretty expensive and hard to get. Like supply time, supply chain, you know, it's, it's not, they're not in abundance. Whereas if you go somewhere like AliExpress or eBay, you can probably save usually about 20 or $30 per kit on these Great Wall Hobby kits, um, especially AliExpress as well. Um, so just bear that in mind. Great Wall Hobby still 72nd scale now, MiG-29, um, and downsized their 48 scale one. So the 48 scale is pretty legendary, probably the best MiG-29 in that scale, and now they've done the 72nd scale kit. So it's going to be awesome. Again, Great Wall Hobbies. It's not going to be cheap. Um, I have no idea on the price, but typically these 72nd scale Great Wall Hobby kits are about 50 60 dollars maybe more um so it's not they're not cheap but again you can go to asia and get them a little bit cheaper um just note there thanks matthew um he's one of my um facebook group uh, members and he's 
he shared all these pictures. So without him sharing, I would never have known about any of these Great Wall Hobbies um, new releases. All right, moving along, border models, um, the no section on Lancaster and 30 second scale. So we had Hong Kong models do a similar thing, what, a year or two ago. Now border models, which are using the Wingnut Wings molds, um, they also just brought out the whole Lancaster, which I don't think is selling too well because, what was it, six, $700? And most model places still have this in stock um, in plentiful supply. So yeah, I think it's just too big and then um, the price tag probably for the size of it. But if you don't have the space and you still want to do one, then the nose is probably a good good idea, good good solution. So you get in the front section um, with a full interior, so you know, the cockpit interior and a couple of um, decal options too, I believe. All right, so this isn't um, anything necessarily new, I think, to a lot of people, but Airfix is um, Spitfire Mark 9C in 24 scale. It's going to be released any moment if it hasn't done so already. Um, imminent release, and you can tell the detail looks amazing, and all the recent um, models of Airfix have been definitely um, very well received and good quality. Not not Airfix. This isn't like the Airfix Spitfire 24 scale from like the 70s. You know, it's definitely, you see from the CAD drawings, it's... Um, Definitely going to be a nicer build. So there you go. So it looks really cool. Um, if you like large scale, this might be one for you. I have built a 24 scale Hurricane and um, it's not massive. I mean, it's it's probably the same size as a 30 second scale modern jet. So, you know, it's, it's not unwieldy by any means. All right, look at this one. Um, wow. So AMK um, F-14D Tomcat 48 scale. So they've had this one out for a few years. Um, I actually have this one in my stash. And they, they they have like a range now called CO or SIO. Um, and that's where they basically add a bunch of extra stuff like 3D printed, um, whatever, you know, extra like resin parts and that kind of thing. And and here it is. This is the um, what they've done. And you can see they, the built model here, how amazing. This is definitely one for the stash. Um, I was kind of conflicted about whether I should really share this because there's not going to be many of these. And I, I definitely want to get one for myself. So I'll be in competition for a lot of people watching this video, I guess. But um, it's just to me. If you're a Tomcat fan like me, look at that. It's amazing. You're getting um, brass pedo tube. You're getting spray mask. You're getting 3D printed landing gears and injection seats. You're getting a 3D radar, um, machine gun, and electronic base. So this thing's going to be fully loaded. And it's not going to be crazy price. I think I saw... Um, don't quote me on this one, but I think I saw it was about 100 to 120 US dollars. Um, and yeah, so it's, I mean, for what you get, it's not that bad, I don't think. It's definitely going to be 100, 100, under 150, I believe. I, again, I think 120, I think, is about where it's going to be at. Um, but yeah, just look at that detail. It's going to be, don't get me wrong, it's going to be a lot of work and getting that stuff in, you know, a lot of surgery and maybe headaches to try to fit it all. But you see how that. The modeler here and that those pictures how just how amazing it looks and i think for anyone again anyone like me who's a tomcat fan this is probably a must have um for your stash i don't have a release date yet um i think probably 2023 although you no know, amk aren't that great you no know, their release dates and schedules they can slide and slip pretty um far back at times kinetic 48 scale mirage 2000 n um, should be, I think it's a new release. Um, the Mirage, I think it's been around Kinetic for a while, but just really these markings are really caught my eye. Just very interesting um, Lafayette um, markings. I don't know, it's like maybe some kind of exchange program or something, but it's, um, yeah, just very eye catching. Border models, Fokker Wolf 190. Um, so 35th scale, which is unusual aircraft scale, they've brought out the 35th scale measurement. BF, um, BF-109, they just brought out the Stuka, and now they're bringing out the um, the 190 to add to that collection. I've been a little hesitant because I'm 30, more of a 32nd scale um, builder, but having built Zuki Mora's 32nd scale BF-109 and similar detail to this, I might be I'm kind of interested. So I might, might it's, 35th isn't too, too much different to 32nd, so I'm, I might be a player at some of these kits, but the detail just looks amazing. Um, I know, I don't, I don't, I'd be interested if anyone's built one of these aircraft to put comments below how, how it went because I built some Border Models armor and the instructions have been a little bit of a nightmare. Um, a lot of corrections, um, errors, and just really hard to follow. So I'm wondering if anybody's um, built the aircraft and the instructions are any better. Um, I'd be interested to know that. But just, yeah, detail looks amazing. Um, another one, 35th. So I guess it's another one that's good for a diorama because all your, your figures are 35th um, and all your armor and that kind of stuff. So it all kind of ties in. Right, this is actually, um, I, I see this on Sprue Brothers actually this morning. This is out, this is available right now. This is Edward's 48 scale midway dual combo and it's limited edition. So you're getting two um, F4 
well, let me read it. Limited edition of, um, you're getting two kits. So you're getting an F4, F3, and an F4, F4, um, and 48 scale. Tons of markings and different versions. Um, you're getting 10 up marking options. You're getting P parts. Um, so P cockpit parts. You're getting a painting mask, like canopy mask. And um, that's pretty much it. No resin parts in this by the looks of it. Not that you really need it on this. Um, and it's going to be pretty tiny, I think, at 48 scale. All right, clear prop models, 70 second scales and helicopters. So we have the UH-2C and the AH-2D C Sprite. That's all I have. I, don't, I just have the box art images. Uh, I think clear prop makes some pretty nice helicopters. That's your thing. Um, 70 second scale, so they'll be pretty tiny and um, I'm sure pretty fiddly as well. Okay, for the boat guys, we've got the USSS Gatto um, Hobby Bosses free, free, 1 to 350 scale. And it's going to be 27 centimeters long. Not too much there. Um, that might be it. I'm, well, there's got to be more sprues than that, surely. But well, maybe not. I don't know. But it's not much plastic, right? You've got two, two halves. And then you've got a couple of small sprues. Looks like the... Um, yeah. And a stand, plastic stand. Not too much there. But um, if you're into, into your subs, well, that's 350 scale. Talk of your subs. Remember last last month I showed you the border models doing the um, kind of the diorama set like that they're doing a, a section of a of a U boat um, and so to go along with this they got the figures so I studied these pictures for a couple of times here to figure out what's going on and um, really that now I kind of realized what it is so you got two different sets the one on the left so it looks like the commanders are the same no matter which set you get but then the, the four guys on the um, the deck it looks like on set number two they they were the manning the, the the cannon and then on set number two looks like loading a torpedo so that's your different so you've got three guys in that set on the right loading a torpedo and four on a gun so i think that's your choices how you want to display your like little dio so yeah two different sets um of your border models if you're getting that submarine i think you pretty much want to get the um the set of figures to go along with that one Takum, another 350 of scale this time um new release coming up it's the italian horizon class destroyer um, and again, I'm not really a boat guy, so I don't really talk too much about it, but it looks like you get some photo etch and, um, yeah, Takuma bring out quite a lot of boats recently. Um, uh, I'm just looking here as a size on here. No, I don't see a size in the box, but, um, 350 scales is going to be a pretty decent size. Okay, going down in scales, 700 scale. So we're getting pretty small now. Trumpeters, Russian destroyer, um, and it's there you go. So it's old school battleship. So you got or destroyer, should I say? So you got the image there, the box art on the left, and then the color callouts and the um, the kind of look of it there on the bottom right. All right, armor time. So seventy second scale scimitar um, from Four Hobby. Now it's caught my eye. It's, it's going to be super tiny, as you can see. It's six centimeters long. <laughs> And this is small in 35th scale, let alone 72nd. But um, this, this caught me the detail on this. So you got a photo, photo etch fret. you got a metal barrel, and the price is 15 US dollars. So I thought it was a really good deal. So I know it's a small kit, but there's plenty of, plenty of stuff in that box to keep you busy there. Keeping it 72nd scale, we've got Trumpeter, um, their truck and trailer, the Maz, um, CHMZAP, um, 5247G semi-trailer um so there you go russian truck semi-second scale so if you've got you know got some more of the armor it's you know, it's gonna be a better size i think because you know if you want to do a little die or whatever it's not gonna be massive right so it's semi-second scale keeping in more semi-second scale i don't know what last couple of years there's been a lot of 70 second scale armor recently um a lot of new stuff which is gets kind of cool so especially this bigger stuff because i mean again like i mentioned the last the last slide this thing's gonna be massive in 35th so i mean semi-second it's still gonna be pretty big so it's an, it's an M983 tractor with an ANTPY2 X band radar, if that makes any sense to you. So, yeah, it's basically a giant truck with a radar on the back. And finally, last slide here um, Rubicon models. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. 56 scale, they are typically, I believe, and it's like the wargaming kind of size. So they make stuff essentially for wargaming but the, the models are so good it's just models in itself you don't necessarily have to play the game you can just or you know have like a war game you can just build the models and make dioramas or just have them as like display pieces 
Uh, I built the Centurion, which is an amazing kit. Um, I think I featured on channel you know, earlier this year or maybe last year now, I think it was. But they've kind of found um, a lot of wargaming and stuff. You know, it's World War II or maybe um, World War One, or, or, you know, or various eras, but there's nothing really for Vietnam. So the last couple of years, they've started bringing out Vietnam um, products, which is pretty awesome, the Vietnam conflict. And um, they brought out a couple of figure sets, I think, probably about a year ago now, maybe. Yeah, I think it's been a while, or maybe six months at least. And um, now they bring out some actual like armor pieces to go along with that. And you can see the selection. So this is upcoming quarter four, um, 2022 releases. So, you know, something you should expect in you know, the next few couple of months or so. And um, that we've got a couple of T-55, we've got T-55s, T-54s, um, some artillery pieces. I think that's a BTR-60 PA armored like APC at the bottom there. But the main thing caught my, is the Huey. The um, Bell UH-1D or 1H Huey. That's going to be, um, again, 56 scale. Excuse me. But it's going to be, I've seen pictures, shots of that. Um, go out, check out um, Rubicon Models' Facebook page. You can see more images. But it's going to be a really nice, um, full, like, full interior, really nice build. Um, and these are really nice models as well. 56 scale. But, um, yeah, again, if you haven't checked them out already, if you want a nice, easy build, like a nice Mojo build, um, this is definitely for you. And you can spend plenty of time you know, painting and weathering these guys up too. Or if you're just interested in like your friends, you want to do like a war gaming kind of thing, then hey, do a whole Vietnam conflict. Basically stage out whole battle there, I guess. So that is it for this week um, or this month, should I say. Um, just gone through 20 high level releases and um, I'll be back in about three or four weeks with the next round. So have a great week and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.